Welcome in all my friends. Lazy Retired Granny here. Today is Sunday, March 17th, 2024. Happy St. Patrick's Day. The time is 6.39 a.m. here in sun about ready to rise, Salem, Oregon. Yeah, yesterday, 78 degrees. Woo! Heat wave. But only about 70 today. But we'll take it. No rain. At least not until, I think that said Wednesday. So, good deal on that. All right, I am continuing my journey on the butterfly wind chime that New Craft Day sent to me um, to do a product review on. And I am trying to get these done so that I can seal them. And while they're drying, I want to put them out in the sun and yeah, and then get them together so I can hang it up. They are so beautiful. So, I got my coffee next to me, which is the caffeinated breakfast blend with hazelnut creamer. And then, of course, my last cube of Mac, uh, wax milk um, underneath the candle lamp and it is the French toast that I purchased from Hobby Lobby on their 40% off sale. So today will be the last day for French toast. Okay, so let's get started on this. I did complete one butterfly. One side, and that's the other side. Get that sparkle. Yeah, so I'm gonna go out and get that uh, one side sealed. And then this big butterfly, I've done one side. And now I'm just starting the second side. So yeah. And then I still have these little ones to do. I've done all one side. Now I gotta do the other side. So yeah, this is uh, quite a few days <laughs> project for me. But I have been busy. I know, I have not been lazy. I have been, well, I've sort of been lazy, but um, I uh, have been outside, yeah, doing the yard work before it decides to start raining again. And so yesterday, um, my son who lives upstairs he got the big lawnmower out and he mowed over there by the fruit trees and then the field in front that's a huge huge job <laughs> but he has a riding lawnmower for that riding tractor <laughs> so he was out doing that and then I got out and finished the front mowing um, on the other side of the driveway. And that's where the big lawnmower can't reach. And so I finished that up. And then there's also some places there that the lawnmower won't get to, so you have to use the weed whacker. So, anyway, I did all that. Oh my gosh. You know how it is when you ex exercise? 
and you're not used to it and how sore you are that's the way I felt yesterday so I did the rest of that mowing and oh man I was really feeling sore so I thought you know what I am before I get my weed whacker out there and finish that off I am just gonna take a break well my son who lives next door he does most of the weed whacking and he said I have to run to the store and I said oh can you pick me up a loaf of bread and he said sure so he ran down to the store and came back and uh, oh he said he was gonna weed whack when he got back now that's a huge undertaking too um, yeah the property here is just huge and so he came back and got the weed whacker out and He got most of the weed whacking done, but then he ran out of juice on his weed whacker. So he said, well, I need to run down to Ace Hardware and get some more juice for the, the oil or something. I don't know, for the weed whacker. So he went back down to, or went to Ace, which is just down the street. It's about four miles. It's on the same street that we live on, but into our little town. And so then he came back and he, he, he said, oh my gosh, there's something wrong with my car. So he was reading his manual and you know, all that. And so anyway, he, needed some stuff for his car so I said well I'll run you down to Ace because he couldn't drive his car and you can get what you need so we went to Ace and when we were at Ace my car thermometer thing said it was 78 degrees outside yeah so yeah, so it was, but it didn't feel like 78 to me. I don't know. You know, I mean, it probably should have felt warmer after all the cold that we've been through. But anyway, so he got his stuff and then we came back and um, he was messing around with the car and he said, oh, I'm going to have to call the shop on Monday take it in and see what exactly is wrong with it and his car I think it's about I don't know 10 years old but and it has a hundred thousand miles on it and he said you know If it's going to, you know, be something major and, you know, blah, blah, blah. He says, I am going to go ahead and get a new car. But he wants more of a SUV type or a truck. And he's been talking about it for a while. And so... Anyway, we got all wrapped up in all of that, and then, you know, that was probably, I don't know, six o'clock. So, anyway, um, the little bit of weed whacking that needs to be done, still needs to be done, um, because it got too late. So, anyway, so, um... So when he takes his car to the shop on Monday, 
um, I'll have to follow him down there. Well, I don't have to, but I will follow him down there and bring him back. And then I might need to take him car shopping. He can look around at cars. He's kind of looking right now, see what's available out there. And he's had his car paid off for quite a long time. And he says, oh, car payments again. I said, isn't that the way it always is? You get it paid off and yeah it's time to get a new car I'm going to put you on pause for just a minute because I need to give Ellie her um, kibbles just one moment okay I'm back so, um, Friday, because I was going to be out there, um, doing all my yard work and stuff, I thought, you know what, once I get done with that, then I'll come in and uh, take a shower. Well, it took me so long out there on Friday. And I was getting exhausted, but I thought, you know, I still, I'm going to take a break and walk away from it for a bit. And then I'm going to go out and I'm going to do the weed whacking. So I, uh, I did and then, yeah, I never did get my shower. So that meant yesterday I need to go back out. And do more labor. So I thought, well, I'll just wait till I'm done and then take the shower. And well, I didn't get out there until later in the afternoon. And then I was resting because I just was so sore and then um, then I got wrapped up in my son and his car and all that so I didn't get a shower again so this morning I got up oh my gosh I got a shower it felt so good oh man it's like I really need a shower so I did that and then changing the bedding. So those are in the wash right now. I don't know if my son's going to want to go out and look at some cars or, or vehicles, I should say. He may want to go out and just see what's out there and price and all that. So I know he was crunching the numbers last night. He's got excellent credit, so hopefully he'll be able to get a good interest rate. He does belong to a credit union and stuff, so... Sometimes they can give you better interest rates. So, 
so I thought, well, if he wants to go looking today, you know, I can chauffeur him around. So we'll see what today brings. Or he may just want to wait and see what the shop says. But I think he is, no matter what, he's going to be getting a new car. So, new vehicle, I should say. So if he wants to do that, that's fine. I'll wait in the car. I'll take my knitting with me. Unless he wants me to go walk around with him to look at what his options are. But yeah, the way he was talking last night, I think it's, it's like, you know, my car's 10 years old. It's probably time for a different one. We'll see what today brings. What adventures I will be having. And then finally, um, you know, I watch London City Walks on YouTube. And... Um, there was something that was mentioned a while back that one of the horse guards had crossed over the rainbow. And so I thought, oh, that's sad. And it was, um, one of the more popular videos um, or videos uh, horses and I think it was indigo and uh, so then I finally found something on hi Ellie did you eat your breakfast girl um, on uh, Google and yeah, the dog, or the dog. Uh, Elliot, you're making me be confused. <laughs> you're distracting me. The horse um, got really bad arthritis and they did everything they could for that horse. But yeah, the horse was just in a lot of pain. And so they had to make, you know, that hard decision for quality of life. And, uh, so, yeah, they put it down. So, anyway, John had posted a video that he did on this horse, kind of showcasing the horse, um, you know, before he, um, Got the medical issue so I wanted to watch that it was an hour long and uh, you know it's kind of sad watching it knowing that that horse is no longer with us but I know those horses get top-notch treatment And you can tell, if you watch, you know, when the guards interact with the horses and stuff. Um, the horses just love them to death. And they love the horses. Uh, 
Oh yeah, sad. I'm not for sure when he passed. I should have read the whole article. You might hear my washing machine going spinning a thousand miles an hour. I hate washing sheets. My washing machine does not like sheets and it tries to jump out of the room. It dances all over the place sometimes. I didn't get any knitting done yesterday, but I did watch a couple episodes of Everybody Loves Raymond. I'm only on season two. These seasons um, have a lot of episodes. did a little bit of reading but oh man I was so tired last night um, I probably when I went to bed super early and I slept until about 3 30 this morning I'm not used to all this manual labor it tires me out I think my sheets are done. Okay, hold on. I'm going to go put them in the dryer quick. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Had to make sure I was still filming. Okay, so... I doing 10 yeah I want to get back to my other painting do these I'm anxious to get them done I want to hang them up watch them shine sparkle oh my gosh talk about sparkle so my hummingbirds, and I don't know if they're the same as my winter ones that I have come by, but oh my gosh, these ones that are coming by now, I don't know if they've got spring fever or what's going on, but they are so funny to watch. But I think these may be the spring ones, but... They are males because of their color, and it just shines, and is, it's like ABs in the sunshine. 
they just are so pretty when the sun hits them but they come by and the theater is uh, right on my porch but oh my goodness do they ever chatter and one of them yesterday came like five feet did a little chatter in front of me and then went back to his theater I don't know what he was trying to tell me or tell me thank you I don't know but oh my gosh and they had this shriek that they do it's like, but yeah they chitter chatter and then actually two of them sat on the theater together and ate they must have been super hungry because usually if one's feeding they'll chase the other ones away and oh my gosh they um yeah it's <laughs> they're so funny i love watching them and we have a lot of hummingbirds, I guess, because <coughs> they're out here all the time. So. I think what I'm going to do is that butterfly that I have done, I'm going to go ahead and seal one side. And set it out <clears throat> side in the sun so it'll get dry super fast yeah and as I finish this second side I'll just seal them and take them outside For me, this is, you know, um, not a quick project. I would assume that as much as I have to do on them, both sides and 12 of the littler sizes, this is not even a 30 by 40. Say it's bigger than that. I know they gave the size of some, but I can't remember what it was. Oops, I got some tens here. I gotta do. Yeah, I didn't get a lot of reading done. However, I did get to the part. Now we're back to 1969 with, I'm going to assume Claire's daughter. Well, it is with Claire's daughter. And um, I can't remember that guy's name. Um, so yeah, I just started there. He's moving So she's there helping him, and that's all I know at this point. Yeah, I didn't get much reading. I was just... Ugh. I just wanted to sleep. <laughs> <sighs> oh, 
hopefully I don't have to mow again for a couple weeks. And hopefully the grass does not get that long again. Oh. That is a jaw and a half. I don't mind mowing when it's just regular mowing. It doesn't take me very long. I get out there in the sun and I get little bit of exercise so I don't mind that at all and during the summer months usually I have to um, I mow about every six days five days yeah our grass just grows so fast. So. But Ellie likes to be out there with me when I'm mowing, and so she gets she moseys around, she gets exercise. So. I should have been out there doing walks with Ellie. But we needed to get this done first. Work before pleasure. That's how I was brought up. Get all the chores done before you can go outside and play or go to your friend's house. So if you want to procrastinate, you know, that's up to you. So, you know, it's just, that's always just how I do stuff. Except now, I get up early so I can do a little bit of things to wake up. That's my excuse. And then I start my day. Do what needs to be done. Except for mowing. Now, the mowing, I either have to do I have to wait for it to get light outside to mow and people awake. So, generally during the summer I get out there as soon as I can in the morning before it gets hot because let me tell you it is not fun mowing when it is hot outside and I got my nightgown on this morning yay I get to start dragging out my spring nightwear Rather than my sweatshirts and woolly jammies and all that. <laughs> so it's weird wearing my nightgown again. But it's my woolly nightgown. But yeah, it's been away since oh my gosh November I think that's when I transitioned into my warm jammies summer gets here then I transition to my summer nightgowns which 
you know, are more cottony type of material, lighter. Because it's still cold at night, you know, like in the 40s, but not as cold as what it has been. It was actually 65 degrees in here yesterday. Yeah, no cold hands for me. But I had my sweatshirt on still, but I think I can probably put those away. Well, we're supposed to go down in temperature again, so it's not ready to tuck them away yet. But I think we should be out of the freeze zone. Yeah, Ellie was having a good time. She was outside practically all day yesterday. And, oh yeah, she was that freshly mowed grass. She was rolling around. And she was just stretched out and sunning herself. And she had her, then she'd sit like a statue and have her face lifted up to the sun and yeah I bet that felt so good for her you know so she didn't no wet paws and cold paws all that and she was out there helping David when he was looking at his car she followed him around and she was right there beside him so yeah she slept good last night too so today we may do a walk Farmer Glenn's grandson was out in the cherry orchard with his tractor yesterday doing some spraying and stuff. Getting about that time of year for the bugs to come out. This will be his busy time, so we'll see him here quite a bit. Ellie is so funny because she saw him come yesterday. She saw his truck, and he um, didn't go to the barn today. He was going to the cherry field, and so she watches him, and when he didn't go to the barn she ran to the other side of the fence and she was looking out over the cherry orchard for him she knows his routine she does not miss anything she knows everything that's going on She's my little nosy Rosie. There is a lot of tens in here. This red. Whew. Okay, so did I get all that? And I got all that side, I think. 
Oh, here's a couple that I missed right here. Now I'm ready for this wing. Now I'll be done with the tens on here. This is really, but how long have I been on here? Okay, probably enough. What happened to my light? Boy, my light disappeared. Or it's just getting the sun's just about ready to rise out there. It's really pretty. So yeah, hopefully I can get this done today. Maybe it's because I don't have this light on that just doesn't want to cooperate with me. This light pad is like uh, this one I think I bought back in uh, 2018 yeah I don't know if you can see that so I'm gonna let you go I appreciate you stopping by if you like this video press the like button and if you haven't become one of my friends hit the subscribe button I'd love to have you join me on my diamond painting journey. And uh, once again, I enjoy all your comments. I so appreciate getting to know a little bit about you guys when you comment or um, email me. So thanks for all of that. And if you like the content that I have here for you, then press the notification bell so you can be notified when my next video comes up. And with that, I'm going to talk to you later.